the game with us. We're really honoured to have you here. And as, as I think I mentioned last year, that is what it's all about. The event lives or dies on the support of people like yourself. So we're certainly very grateful for that. Uh, for those of you that haven't met me before, my name is Michael Croker. I'm the Head of Entertainment for Village Roadshow Theme Parks. I'm not going to speak for too long. I just wanted to give you a welcome on behalf of the RTP and then also give you a little bit of an idea of both what you can expect tonight and a little bit of insight into how we got here again. So one of the things for us that happens at the end of every Friday nights, or even during the run, is that we're in the beginning of pre-production for the next one. So it's about 12 months of work before we're in a position like we are being here tonight. So that work is constantly happening. So the challenge for us is not only during day trade are we having to be on our game, but we're always in pre-production, in production or post-production for an event, whether it's Friday nights, White Christmas or Carnival. So you'd be pleased to know 2017 is already underway in terms of pre-planning with concepts and it's going to be something special again. So we really hope you love what we have for you tonight. As I say, it's about a year's worth of work and a very big team of people working tirelessly to make it happen. So lots of things. I'm sure by now most of you are aware we were successful in securing The Conjuring 2 as the maze for 2016. That's got to be good news, right? So one of the things that was challenging for us, the film hadn't been released when we first approached Warner Brothers for the rights. And we were, I guess, hoping on the strength of the first film that the franchise was in safe hands with James Wan back at the helm of being director. And so before we'd even seen the film, we had discussions about securing that license so that we could bring you The Conjuring 2. And uh, interesting about how that process works creatively, we eventually secured tickets for a preview in Brisbane for a preview screening. And it was about a week before the film dropped officially through cinemas. And it's a surreal kind of experience because we made our way through into the, into the doors of the theater and they had security there because obviously it was a preview. They wanted no one taking any kind of images. And I rock up with a book, pen light, and a sketch pad, and had to kind of explain myself while I sat at the back of the cinema and sketched and drew and wrote while I was trying to enjoy the movie. And by the time we got out of the maze, there was about 30 pages of notes, or out of the film rather. There was about 30 pages of notes and scribble that was barely legible. And over the next week, we sat down as a team and then started to pick apart the film and design what you're going to see tonight. And I hope that you, if you're a fan of the film, that you're gonna feel like you're walking inside the film itself. Do we have any Conjuring 2 people here? You know the movie, you've seen the film? Yeah, fantastic. So if you're like me and a lover of movies, regardless of genre, that was just a great film, right? Independent of horror. Uh, we've done our very best to take you inside that film from the moment that you queue to the moment that you enter the apartment without giving you